Hey, Michelle, how are you doing? Great, come on in. Hi, Jeff, how are Hi. you? Good, Michelle, how are you? I cleaned my house just for you. That's great. <laughs> well, welcome to my home. Thank you. Tell me, what are we gonna be doing today? Well, Jeff is gonna be doing an energy rating on your house. And what does that mean? That means that he's gonna look at all the different parts of your house and do an actual energy audit. Okay. And that means looking at the insulation in your floor, walls, ceiling. He's going to do a thing called a blower door test, which measures how drafty your house is. Okay. And then he's gonna look at your heating system and water heater. And he's gonna put all the information about your house into this computer software, uh -huh. which is gonna tell you how energy efficient the house is. And also, what are the things you can do to make it more energy efficient. Now this is very important for people who are possibly buying a new home because this can save them money on their mortgage, is that right? That's right. Um, in fact, Alaska Housing has a program where if you buy an older home that needs improvements, you can have an energy rating done and if you make the improvements, you can get, actually get an interest rate break on your loan. Or if you're buying a new home, five star, five star plus, you can get an interest rate break with one of those as well. And AHFC is the only one that does this. In fact, we're the only ones in the country that do this. So what's Jeff doing now? Well, right now, Jeff is measuring the inside of the house to see how big it is. He's actually looking at particularly the windows to see if there's any moisture damage or if they open and close properly to see if there was any moisture damage to those windows. Okay. After he does that, he'll go out to the garage where you have your water heater and your uh -huh. furnace in this house, uh -huh. and he'll get the information about that to see what the efficiency of those things are. Okay. And then he's taking notes on all that as he's doing it. Okay. So he remembers to input it into that computer software. He will be doing a blower door test, which he's gonna go to the front door of your house, uh -huh. and he's gonna put in a temporary door with a fan in the bottom of it, uh -huh. and it's gonna have gauges on it and a little controller and with this he's going to crank up this blower door fan so that it's actually sucking air out of the house okay and he measures it at and he sets it up at a certain rate so that he can tell how big a leak your house has and that means if you were to add up all the cracks and leaks all throughout this whole house uh -huh. and were to add them up how big would the hole be for your house wow. and it might be this big or this big or this big. And then it'll go around with a smoke puffer and it'll go around to different parts of the house which probably are leaky, like maybe around windows or doors or other places. And it'll puff a little smoke and we should be able to see smoke move if air is coming in from that particular place. Ah. He'll also be looking in the attic and the crawl space. Okay. See if there's any moisture problems up there. See what the insulation levels are okay. in those places. And also when he drove up, he was also looking for any problems he could see on the outside. In the wintertime, you could see places where snow was melting on the roof. That could be a place where there's some heat loss. Okay. Uh, also on your gable end vents, which are the vents that are on the ends of your house. Okay. If you see moisture or frost forming there, that means that warm air from inside your house is getting up into there. And that means there's a place where warm air is leaking up into your attic and that needs to be stopped. And then he's gonna put all that information into his computer software. Okay. And that is gonna tell us actually how efficient the house is, what kinds of things you can do to make the improvements. And the definite benefit of this is that whatever the improvements, I can do them and make sure that I have a, a lower heating bill. That's result, right. right, that's right. It can help you decide what are gonna be the most cost effective things you can do okay. to improve the home. This will give you some really good information about what is gonna give you the best payback for the amount of money you're gonna put out. Carrie, this is a lot of information. I'm so excited to learn all about it, but we have to take a quick break. So stay with me and stay with us. We'll be right back after this.